How you doing today folks? It's Mark Sanders here at the Sci-Fly Smoke Shop and today we have another video. We're going to be talking about Kratom today. Now we sell Kratom here at Sci-Fly and I, per I personally have used Kratom for many years so I'm pretty knowledgeable. Uh, I am not a scientist so what I'm about to tell you is stuff that I've picked up over the years talking to people, reading different sources, uh, using it myself, right? So let's get started. Kratom. Uh, where is it grown? And how is it grown? Kratom uh, is a very special plant. It can only be grown successfully in one part of the world. That's in Southeast Asia. Um, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, areas like that. Uh, the climate there is perfect for Kratom and it can't be replicated anywhere else. So growing Kratom anywhere outside of that area can be difficult, right? Um, now, the way Kratom is processed for use, um, there's a couple different ways, but they take the vein of the, the, the leaf of the plant, right? They take the leaf of the Kratom plant and they either grind it up and make a powder out of it, grind it up, make a powder out of it and put it in capsules, or they can make a liquid out of it. Um, now each one of those different formulations has different properties that we'll talk about. Um, <clears throat> But the main thing that Kratom does for people, the main action um, is an analgesic reaction, meaning that it can produce pain relief. That's the main thing Kratom does, uh, a pain relief. And it has some other uh, properties, such as giving you energy, helping you relax. Um, that all depends on what type of Kratom you take. The other benefits, um, come from uh, the same properties, such as opiate withdrawal, for, for instance. Kratom interacts with the same receptors that opiates do, but because Kratom is a natural product, it is not as addictive and deleterious as opiates can be. So a lot of people use Kratom instead of opiates. It's a natural product and it won't lead to that intense withdrawal when you decide to come off of it. Um, the active ingredient that causes all this in Kratom is called mitragynine. Now I'm going to try and write that right here. Mitragynine or hydroxymetragynine. Now um, that is the chemical or compound that produces the effects from Kratom we're talking about. Now, um, Kratom does have some addiction potential. Um, if you find yourself taking it every day at high doses, you will find that you need some every day to kind of keep you in the same place. So to avoid that, you need to be careful, um, like any other thing that goes inside your body. Um, now, when I was talking about different types of Kratom, I was talking about different strains of Kratom, right? So there are three main categories. You got your red Kratom, you got your white Kratom, you got your green Kratom, right? Now, green Kratom is kind of the baseline. It just kind of deals with pain relief. It doesn't really give you anything other than the pain relief. Now, red Kratom, which is the one most people use for pain and kind of dealing with opiates, is red, okay? It comes in a couple different names, Bali Red, Mangda Red, but the thing to remember is that red Kratom is best with pain in the evening, okay? And the last major uh, Kratom strain is white Kratom. Um, it has a bunch of different names too, like uh, Borneo or Thai, but you're looking for the white Kratom, right? White Kratom gives you energy. It will definitely give you a focus boost. It will definitely push you through a rough day, right? Um, I would not take white Kratom in the evening because it is going to hinder your sleep, right? One last thing, we're gonna talk about source, right? Where are you getting your Kratom from? 
This is very important because um, certain companies out there, they will have this stuff stored in their garage or some hot warehouse and they'll be using uh, methods that are just not sanitary, you know, using shovels and all kinds of stuff that is eventually going to end up in your body. So you want to pick a company that makes this stuff in a clean room. It is uh, FDA compliant. You want to make sure that your Kratom source has all of these because there have been uh, things in the past where batches of Kratom have been contaminated and that's because they were not handling it correctly. Now um, you can always ask me about some good sources of Kratom because since we've been selling it for a while I know very well what's good Kratom and what's not good Kratom. Um, and one last thing we're just going to look at some Kratoms here okay. This is uh, Choice Kratom it's one of the best brands we sell but you got your white you got your red and you got your green. All are going to give you different types of uh, reactions. And you know, it's okay to experiment. Say you, you, you're wanting to try Kratom, you're new to it. Um, I would give you a suggestion, but you can easily try a couple out till you find the effects you're looking for. Um, capsules, okay? These are much easier to swallow than the powder. The powder is disgusting. Okay, it's just, it's, it's tough to swallow. It, it's effective, but if you can't handle swallowing stuff that's not so good tasting, this will be rough for you, the powder. So switch to the capsules. These are much easier to swallow. Um, and the only difference is since it's in a capsule, it might take longer to get into your, uh, your system. And then the last form and most potent form of Kratom are these liquid shots. Okay, I got Super K and OPMS. These are pretty much two of the best brands in the country. Now, uh, these are good for a couple things. Uh, it will give you a good energy boost, but you have to remember to take the right amount. Now, the difference between Kratom being energy pro providing and it being relaxation providing is a thin line. The more you take, the more, um, what's the word I'm for? The more intense uh, the effect, right? The less you take, the closer you're getting to energy, right? If you take too much, you'll get into that relaxation zone. zone. But if you take just enough, you'll end up in that kind of energy giving zone. I know that's kind of confusing, but when you go and look at this yourself, when you do your own research, just remember that, all right? It matters how much you take because if you take too much, it can make you sick, right? It's gonna make you nauseous and kind of antsy, so just be careful. Now, that's it for today. If you guys have any other questions about Kratom, um, if you wanna talk about our brands, you let us know in the comments. If you want some more detailed information, let us know in the comments, but um, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. We'll have a video coming up pretty soon. I haven't decided what it's about yet, but I will. Um, all right, thank you very much. Peace out.